So, for those of you watching on my normal YouTube channel, uh, this is going to be something completely different, but what I have here is uh, the Hero's Guide to the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, it was $100, uh, limited edition. Um, so I'm going to do a unboxing video. I've already taken it out of the packaging for you. Um, this is a really beautiful, enormous, um, it's not really leather, uh, but it could be. I can't really tell from the touch, but um, it's got the Elder Scrolls Online symbol on the front. And uh, on the side... Um, the Hero's Guide to the Elder Scrolls Online. Probably able to stand that up. I don't want to do that just yet. Um, so here we go. I'm going to open it up. Oh. So there's a map of Tamriel in here. This is the Elder Scrolls Online version. You've got the three factions. Um, this is their map. Uh, this is, looks like this is glued to the inside of the box, so it's not something that um, you can put on a wall, but that's a very nice looking map. So, all right, now to the good stuff we have here. Um, let's start with this. Okay, so it's got some awesome twine on here. Uh, cool looking envelope. This isn't exactly the easiest thing to do with one hand. Okay. I'm not sure what this symbol is. Um, if you know, go ahead and tell me in the comments. This is a very soft, sort of a fuzzy, fuzzy exterior. Very nice. Oh, okay. This is the book that it comes with. I haven't actually read... <laughs> read the online description since I bought it a couple months ago, or about a month ago. So, okay, this is the, uh, uh, what was the name of this? Oh, yeah, this is the Apprentice, uh, Sorcerer's Spellbook or something like that. Notes on Alchemy and Enchanting Ingredients. The Bounty of Mundus. So I'll just flip through some of these pages here. There's a lot of text, looks like, so far, which I'm happy about. I was worried it would be uh, um, pretty sparse on the text, but so far it's looking pretty good. Hopefully, I'm hoping there's uh, actual stories in here. Um, this looks like mostly descriptions of uh, alchemical ingredients. Um, but I'm hoping there's actual story elements other than just um, item descriptions. Oh yeah, it looks like there's... well, I don't want to spoil anything, but looks like there's some story going on there, so let's move this over here. Um, let's open up this. This is very nice. Ooh, this is also soft. Um, I'm not sure how to take this out of here. Here we go. opens right up. Sorry about that. Alright. What does it say? This set contain, uh, consists of tomes from across Tamriel during the Second Era. Each book presents different facets of the world. Um, I don't need to read that whole thing. I got number 1,498 of 10,000. So, this is uh, looks like a lithograph for the uh, Elder Scrolls Online. It's very nice looking. So that would mean there's two books left, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, since there's no official Elder Scrolls uh, book collection other than the unofficial Oblivion uh, one that that guy posted on Reddit, uh, which I don't actually have time to make myself, I was very excited about getting these. So I'm hoping that they focus a lot on 
uh, previously discussed lore elements of the Elder Scrolls rather than Elder Scrolls Online specific. This is a very, very nice cover. It's got uh, inlay on there with a lot of texture to it. It's on the back too there. This, this looks like the bigger, the bigger book. Um, let's take a look in here. Feels like pretty high quality um, material. Okay, this is the Hunter's Companion. So I'll just flip through this uh, quickly here. Um, since I haven't actually opened this yet, I don't quite know what to focus on. Feels like there's something in between these pages. Moon Sugar Press, that's pretty great from elsewhere. Oh, okay, they're just stuck together. Morrowind. Ooh. Oh wow, this is this hasn't been uh, flipped through at all. These pages, the uh, the inlay edging on here is, or the uh, the gold leaf on the pages are actually stuck together. So it looks like uh, this is a bestiology. So um, got some monsters. Okay, yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of <clears throat> bull netch. That's cool. Snow bear. Looks like there's some dwarven artifacts in here. Okay, so it looks like a lot of uh, monster descriptions. Yeah, so it looks like this so far is going through different areas in, in uh, Tamriel and describing the indigenous creatures. I was really hoping there was more of a uh, what you would get from the in-game books rather than just like a bestiary. Um, of course, though, keep in mind I haven't actually read any of this, so... Okay, The Hunter's Lament, Categorization and Evaluation. Interesting. Flame Atronach. Okay, it looks like there's a, okay, yeah, there's a story in here. Okay, so I'm sure they have some of it scattered throughout. And I'm 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 hopefully that the uh, animal descriptions aren't uh, too dry. There's some notes in here. I kind of like the. Uh, um, all chemical ingredients and potion making type uh, notes too. I think that's kind of fun. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of uh, elsewhere. Ooh, cool. Yep. So that's, that's that book. Put this back. And we have one more. It's a little difficult to get out. I don't want to pull the cover, pull it by the cover, but it doesn't seem like I have much of an option. Okay, all right. Well, what I've seen of the art, I really like. They did a really good job. Um, it's sort of a well, this one in particular looks very fantasy-esque. It's not necessarily uh, in the style of art as the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, this looks very fantasy-esque. This is pretty cool. Armor. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of item descriptions. But again, you know, I haven't actually read through this, so I can't say for sure what uh, these contain. Ooh. Alright, well, that's uh, everything I have in here. I'm going to stop this video and go <laughs> spend the rest of the night reading through most of this. Uh, but yeah, that is my official unboxing of the 
uh, Hero's Guide to the Elder Scrolls Online.